Okay, hello YouTube. This is Shytown Fire Twenty Five. This is gonna be a review on the Nike Free Run running or training shoes. I use them for training. Super comfortable. Feels like you don't even have a shoe on. Um. So, uh, Nike Free Runs were designed to mimic like the sensation of barefoot running. Has a lot of the advantages of barefoot running, but also, the support you need so you don't screw up your feet. Also, if you're running on a path, you don't want to step on glass or something, and that would suck. Um, very breathable. Like, this top part right here is, like, probably almost see-through. Like, barely see. You can kind of see the outlines of socks and stuff. Um, so yeah, very breathable. Super, super light. Uh, runs true to size. Um, some cool things about this are, you can just, oh, here's this, see this, insole, super thin, like, not much support, but it's just enough, I mean, as long as you're running the right way, it'll be fine, uh, kind of a, no, there's not like a really a tongue, it's just, slip your foot in, runs to true to size though, can be kind of hard to get your feet in if they're probably smaller, but under the laces a little bit, and you should be fine. Uh, okay, so these shoes really flexible. Like if you look, see that, and then if I really wanted to bend it, I mean, what other shoe do you know that can do this? Uh, really nice bottom though. I mean, I mean, really, really nice shoe. Look cool on your feet. Really comfortable to wear. Um, the heel. Well, I guess it's kind of the shoes are kind of hard to get used to. Probably like not hard, but it's just you got to get used to them. Like after a day, you would probably be used to them. But like first time I got a treadmill, going to speed training, and it was kind of weird running with the heel. But I got used to it, and I fallen in love with these shoes. Really nice. They cost me eighty-five dollars on Sports Authority. Probably the best place to get them since uh, they have only a dollar shipping. So you don't have to mess with anyone else's shipping process. Uh, what else? Uh, these shoes they also come in black, red, purple, white, yellow. Red, blue, I think I already said that, but they have yellow, I mean, they have every possible color, they have chick colors, they have, like, pink and stuff, I mean, these are great shoes, really comfortable, I know me and probably, like, two other of my friends have them for when we work out, Nike Plus compatible, you need to buy it separately, though, um, overall, just a great shoe, again, quick little... Look at them. Okay, so upper material is mesh. And the midsole material is going to be phyllite. And it says phyllite is a lighter than rubber but heavier than phylon and functions as both midsole and outsole. By eliminating a separate midsole and outsole, the weight of the shoe is greatly reduced and flexibility is increased. So, definitely worth the money. Definitely spend $85 on this. I mean, you're not going to regret it. Great shoe. Uh, the outsole, again, is rubber. So, it's not going to... The shoe is not going to just come apart. Really, really durable. Great for any conditions. Um, yeah. What else? Shipping on these was super fast. I got them in, like, three days. Off... Uh, what's my god? Off Sports Authority, um, anything else? Hmm. Yeah, really addicting. I mean, they're not, they're not too expensive. I mean, you get what you pay for. <coughs> I mean, for 85 bucks, actually, these things are probably steel. Great shoe. I definitely recommend them again. Uh, Shytown Fire 25 here.
and thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment, no, all that good stuff. Check out my other videos.